Hey, welcome back. Hope everybody's doing okay. Like always, I want to take this time to thank all my subscribers. And for those who leave a comment, it's truly appreciated. Well, in this video, we're going to have the yard. I purchased the Menards Cripple Creek facility to house some engines and uh, passenger cars. So out of foam, I, um, I created a base. I had to take the, the bottom part of the Cripple Creek building um, so it'll fit better. And then I decided to add like an elevated small hill so I could put a pond in the middle uh, where the workers could go, could go around it. For the water, I basically used the same method. I uh, carved out a hole, put tissue paper with white glue, let it dry, and then I painted it uh, blue, brown, and gave it the water look, and then I added the acrylic mixture, which turns into glass. And I added trees, ground covering, and those two um, silos, which I had in my spare box. Got some rocks from outside, and I glued them there. And then I set the buildings just to see how it would look. I then came over to the parking lot area security area entrance to the facility and I sketched out a parking lot uh, where the buildings would go with a security guard shack and basically using the same method as I did the streets and the boulevard I, uh, I laid out and uh, pasted that uh, 3D walk paper. And then with the little pieces of balsa, I created the edges, put the guards up, lighted it all up, and uh, basically that was it. And then I went to Home Depot and I bought me some flooring and I used it as a edge decoration, if you will. And that's where I put my switches. I'll go into it a little bit more in my next video, which is going to be the completed project. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and click the little bell button. I got a lot more videos coming. Once again, I want to thank all my subscribers, and for those new ones, I appreciate it. Happy railroading. Bye.